everybody, it's Kristen. So welcome to another segment of Cooking with Kristen. Today we are going to do a crock pot barbecued pulled pork. Um, this is a recipe that I think I got the base recipe a long time ago, but I have added some stuff to it and, you know, I've Kristenized it. So what we're going to do today is um, start with our crock pot empty. What we want to put into that is one cup of chopped celery and one cup of chopped onion. And here's a little tip for you. I have mostly like Rubbermaid or Tupperware containers, but you know how when you store onions, they smell up forever and ever, amen, whatever you're gonna store them in? I will, when I cut one up in advance to use like for another recipe or whatever, I keep what's left and um, you can freeze them. My dad does that all the time. I don't generally do that, but I just keep it in the fridge, but I always keep it in some sort of random container. Like this is a was a frozen raspberry container so that I can, Take the top off, dump them in, put the top back on, and wash it later so it doesn't have to sink. But that way, you don't have, you're not sticking up one of your other containers. Know what I'm saying? You, see, you hear what I'm saying? Okay, so next is one cup of ketchup. I already had some in there from a container that was just about empty. You're just making a big old mess in here right now. And then you are going to do a one cup of barbecue sauce, the kind that I like is Sweet Baby Ray's, but you can use whatever you want. Are you allowed to show labels? I don't even know. I probably just broke some sort of rule. Copyright something or other. Okay, so barbecue sauce in. And if you really want to watch me squeeze that in there. And then one cup of water, just plain old water. Okay. And then you want to put in two tablespoons of brown sugar, and I have that measured out right here. And then you want to put two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I swear I don't use Worcestershire sauce in every recipe. It just seems like that. What can I say? I like it. Two tablespoons of vinegar, apple cider, white, plain old, red wine, whatever you want. And then you're going to do a teaspoon, or, yeah, a teaspoon of chili powder, rounded, give or take, you know. I feel like because I'm doing a recipe for, for you guys, I have to give you some sort of measurement, so you know. And a teaspoon of salt. And then I have to, I know it's a lot of ingredients, but it's all stuff you have in your cupboard, I'm sure. A half a teaspoon of pepper. And a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Eh, I like garlic. Alright, so now we're going to stir that all up together. is obviously basically your barbecue sauce. Okay, so now that you have your sauce all set to go, you just want to take a three pound pork roast. It has to be boneless. You don't want to have a bone in there that's going to cause you some kind of issues. Um, so boneless, three pound pork roast. It can be an arm roast, it can be whatever you want as long as it's pork and it's three-ish pounds and there's no bone in it. Okay, so now that you have your pork roast in there, and I took it with my fingers and I shushed it down in there to get it, you know, it's not covered by things. Actually, I'll take a second and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it should look like, and you can see it's not completely covered, but it will start to break down while it's cooking. Um, and then, you know, then it will all get covered with all the goodness. Okay, so now you've got, like I said, you've got your pork roast in there. You've seen what it looks like. You're going to put your cover on that. And you're going to let this cook for on high for about six hours. If you're going to be gone all day um, and you want to do this on a weekday, you certainly can put it on low and let it just go all day, and that will be just fine. That's kind of the nice thing about the versatility of the crock pot. We are going to eat this after the Packer game today. So um, I will come back a little bit later and show you um, how I 
break it apart and that sort of thing and what it looks like. So I will see you in six, seven hours. Okay, so it is much later. This has been six hours that it's been in here on high. You can kind of see how juicy it is. And so what I'm gonna do now is just start to break it apart with forks like this. I always have one big fork, like a serving fork, and then just like a dinner fork. And I'm gonna just start to pull it apart in pieces. And if this is too messy for you, you can always pull it, pull it out and put it in a bowl and do it there and then put it back in here. So I, I'm actually gonna show you that version as well. Okay, so I'll pull it out with a big, wide, like slatted spoon like this. That's what I, that's how I do that. And then again, you just use your forks and you're gonna pull it apart. I mean, it's really, you know, however it works for you, that's what, that's what you're gonna do. So as you can see, I have this broken up into little, much smaller pieces and just, you know, pulled apart, hence the term, pulled pork. And now what I'm going to do, you can certainly serve this right from here and has the flavor. What I'm going to do, because actually my husband went back out <laughs> hunting, I'm going to put it back in the, in the juice and then when we serve it later, I will um, serve it right from there. Break apart any other pieces that you maybe found on the bottom that were bigger than you would like them to be. Okay, so this is what it looks like in here now. Hopefully you guys are able to see. And it's going to have lots of juice and be really, really good and messy. <laughs> it's going to be full on messy. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Sorry that I'm clearly wearing something different, but I got into comfy clothes um, after I recorded the first section and have been watching football, of course. So what you want to do is, um, I just bought Kaiser rolls for us to put it on. You could certainly put this in um, a flour tortilla and you could use it that way. You could just have it by itself, which is actually probably what I will do um, without the bun. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I hope that that was relatively clear. Um, again, you can leave this, like, like I said, I'm going to leave this in here until my husband gets home and then I will pull it out and um, I'll toss the rest of the juice aside from a little bit and the leftovers I'll store in some of the juice that's here so that it stays really moist. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, that is barbecued pulled pork, Kristen style. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy this and that you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!